afternoon. Okay, let's start the Far East webinar. So I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. Um, so Marcin D, tell us who you are, where you're from and what your price today is, please. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Cindy. Uh, you can call me Cindy. Uh, I'm from Jumeirah, Bali. Uh, for the price, really, is that uh, I'm correctly hear you? Yeah. Yeah. So the price point, we are starting at uh, around uh, 600, uh, 650 uh, pounds sterling. Which, so you, do you, I mean, your price for the for one of the winners today, it's normally a 50 pound voucher, oh. 60. So, so yeah, so we uh, the price for the uh, Q and A is around that. So because we are uh, going to give you one night uh, complimentary stay. Wow. At Chumera Valley. Okay, super price. Thank you very much. Um, so we'll come back to you in a moment, Cindy. Sue, would mm -hmm. you like to tell us who you are and where you're from and what you're representing today? Yeah, hi everybody. I'm Sue from LJR Consultancy. We represent a number of boutique properties in Asia, the Maldives, and some in Europe. And I'm here today to um, tell you about our properties in Thailand. That's the Sala Resorts on Samui in Phuket, uh, the Naihan in Phuket, Arva Resort in Kanam, and then I'm also going to touch on Royal Sands, which is our Cambodian beach property. Super, Sue. Would you like to transport us to your world? Um, the, the stage is all yours. Okay, wonderful. I will start sharing the screen. Thank you. And don't forget any questions, pop them in the Q&A. Okay. Right? So can oh, everybody see the yeah. screen? All good. Okay. It's just started. I'll let you know when we can see it. No, just nine. Okay. Here we go. Right. Can you see the um, entrance screen? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So my first one is Sala Samui Chongmon Beach. This is a beautiful boutique beach property, 69 rooms, suites and villas, of which 59 have got private pools. So you can just see um, on the map here that it's located on the northeast of the um, island. It's a great location, um, 10 minutes from the airport and a beautiful quiet beach by day, but in the evening there's lots of options. You can go to Beauport Fisherman's Village where there's lots of nice restaurants and bars or down to Chaweng. It's also a great location for any sort of boat trips, etc. So we, we do think it's one of the best locations on the island. These are the leading deluxe balcony rooms. These are on the top floor. So these are the only ones that don't have a um, private pool. Underneath the garden pool villas, these have a lovely patio outside with a private swimming pool. Um, and then we have the freestanding one bedroom, one bedroom signature pool villas. Um, as you can see here, the bathrooms are open air. Each room type has got some sort of um, outdoor feature. Um, and these are uh, open air, but undercover. So a nice little feature. Next, we have the one bedroom pool villa suites. So these have a living room, a separate living room with a spacious pool and garden area. And then as you can see, you can either have privacy with the gates closed or open. Uh, next, we have the one bedroom duplex pool villa suites. These are really good if you've got a family on a bit of a budget, the one to two bedroomed villa and can't quite afford it. You've got a master bedroom with a bathroom on the top floor. And then um, on the ground floor, you can either have it as a lounge or it could be a bedroom um, with extra beds for two children. And then we've got two bedroom pool villa suite and a huge great big presidential suite um, with a separate lounge area. So all of the salas have um, two pools. Sorry, I had an interruption there. They all have two pools, 125 meter pool for swimming lengths, 
and another 25 metre pool just chilling in. They also all have a lovely personalised check-in where you get to choose what pillow type you want and what fragrances you want in your, in your bathroom, etc. Plus you've got the usual gym and spa, etc. Lovely atmospheric restaurant, great food, great chef, but options as well along the beach. You can go to the local village as well for, um, for dinner. Rates are very reasonable. They start at around 180 net per room per night. And on top of that, we have all year round early birds with about 30% off. And also uh, we constantly have tactical offers as well at the moment. There's up to 50% off the rates. The stays between May and January 24. So that's um, Sala Samui Chong Mom. And then we have the sister property, um, Sala Phuket Mai Kau Beach. This is situated up in the northeast of Phuket Island. Uh, again, it's close to the airport. It's a 10, 15 minute transfer. And um, this is a much quieter location than Sala Samui Chong Mom. Um, it's located in a national park area. So you can walk miles along this lovely pristine golden sand beach. Um, and you won't see anything else. It's just going to be your person, no loungers, nobody selling anything. Um, this has exactly the same layout as Sala Chongmon and Chaweng, um, but it combines rare historical Sino-Portuguese architecture. So it's very much the Chinese and Portuguese architect um, history of, um, of Phuket. So the rooms are the same, but larger. So I'll just show you a few examples. This is the signature freestanding Sala Pool Villa. This is a one bedroom pool villa suite. You can see the open air bathroom at the back. And then they've got very, very large um, two bedroom pool villa suites as well. Then outside, you've got this lovely manicure grass area. And again, you've got a 25 meter pool for relaxing in, um, which is this one in the picture. And then you've got a lovely 30 meter pool for swimming lengths. And this is the restaurant. You've got a choice of eating indoors, outdoors. Because it's a little bit quieter, there is a local village nearby, Maikau Village, where you can go for some nice local food. Uh, there are some hotels nearby. Phuket Town's about half an hour away. Uh, but they do have nice themed evenings. So most evenings, it might be a barbecue night or a Thai street food night or um, a, a movie night, something like that. There's always something going on there. So the rates here start from net 140 and you've got up to 35% off on the early bird to add on to that and some tacticals as well. Um, moving on to Sala Samui Chaweng Beach. This is the most recent addition. Uh, so this opened up in 2018. Um, it's rather like two resorts in one because um, on one side you've got the ocean front wing and then with 52 pool suites and pool villas and that contrasts with the garden wing which opened in 2019 which has 84 suites and pool villas. So as you can see in the picture, different from the other two, you have a block, a building block with suites and all of the suites have got a pool on the balcony, which I'll show you in a minute, which is just something quite quirky. Again, it's a short transfer from the airport. It's right at the end of North Chaweng Beach. So in terms of having a nice quiet day on the beach, it is well away from the center of Chaweng. And yet if you want the nightlife, it's only sort of six or seven minutes walk um, in the evening. So these are um, an example of what the, uh, the rooms suites look like. So these are on the first and second floor um, facing the sea, nice sunny position. And you've got a lovely pool on the balcony with a lounger. So that's a great place just to sort of sit with a book in the afternoon in the sun. These are the long, the wider ones. So this, these are double the width. So the pool is double the width because they have a separate lounge and, um, and dining area on the side. And then we just have some on ground floor, some private pool villas. So we have four of these one bedroom king size bed and an outdoor patio area. And then we also have a lovely big two bedroomed villa, which is right next to the beach, which is the largest beachside villa on the island with two bedrooms. Uh, the whole resort is built to resemble a, um, a moon, the, the lunar, a lunar theme. So as you can see here, this is the, the moon swimming pool, which is circular. And you've got these lovely sort of white um, day beds. So it really is a sort of a lovely relaxed atmosphere and, and vibe there and there you can see from the beach nice nice white beach right at the end of North Chaweng. 
So moving over to the garden wing, uh, each, each wing has its own separate check-in, um, reception area and lobby. So um, these are the garden pool rooms on the ground floor, uh, 38 of these. And then above them, a bit like at Chongmon and Phuket, there's the, gar uh, the garden deluxe balconies. And then we also have um, some two bedroomed family and friends suites as well. So this is a spa, again, following the lunar theme. And um, we also have a large gym and um, also sell this first kids club. So the rates here start at about 160, same early bird offers. And then we've got some tacticals at the moment um, up to 7th of January 24 uh, with 35% off the rates. So uh, those are the three Sala properties. And I'm going to move on to something very, very different in Thailand, which is Ava Resort Kanom. Um, Kanom is a small, very, very underdeveloped country town on the southeast of, um, of Thailand. So it's on the Samui coastline. I'll, I'll show you on a map in a minute exactly where it is. But it's really unspoiled and it's completely devoid of mass tourism. Um, so on the map, you can see um, it's on the Samui side. So you can fly from Bangkok down to either Saratani or Nakhon Si Tamarat, and then the hotel will pick up from there. They also pick up from Samui, although you can get the ferry across or you can book a speedboat transfer directly to the hotel. And also combines really well with Phuket and Krabi. They'll also pick up from there, as well as Elephant Hills. So it's a great um, twin, uh, beach twin for Elephant Hills when the Phuket side of, of um, Thailand is in low season. Um, Arva is the only resort on, on the um, Samui side that is in high season, so it's a great combination for Elephant Hills. So it's owned by a Finnish couple. It's a lovely story. They went backpacking uh, about 15 years ago and they fell in love with the Kanom area. So they ended up never going back to Finland and instead they uh, created Arva. So it's, it's very sort of Scandinavian interiors um, but Thai architecture. So a little bit about the area. Kanom is a very authentic fishing town. The whole area has the most amazing pristine beaches. You've either got pink dolphins, that's one of only two places in the world where they have them. Lots of caves, uh, national parks, etc. So lots to do there. So these are the leading deluxe bungalows. There's 27 bungalows in all, so it's, it's quite small. Uh, great for families, kids stay free, uh, they eat free. There's a complimentary kids club, uh, all ages, right from babies, and they also provide complimentary babysitting. So we would recommend these deluxe um, bungalows um, for families with young children. They've got connecting rooms, and also for large families, uh, it's absolutely perfect. Superior rooms just are similar but have a garden view. Then we have these poolside villas that are all built um, around the swimming pool. And also some family villas which are on three levels. Um, the uh, second room is on a mezzanine floor. The stairs are a little bit steep so that's why I would say for older families, the family villas and uh, the leading rooms for people with younger families. Got lots of options with eating, lovely food. We just done a farm trip and they all said it was the best food on the farm trip. But they too also do some quite nice themed evenings, Thai nights, beach barbecue, etc. Also very uh, into their wellness. So there's lots of uh, different sort of yoga, Pilates, uh, Thai boxing, etc. And they're quite happy to do personalised uh, packages for that. Um, this is the kids club, you can see there on the right actually how beautiful the beach is as well. And they also have their own in-house in, in tour company called Ada Tours, so this is great for exploring the Kanom area. So some of the things you can do, uh, you could take a boat excursion to spot the pink dolphins, there's an elephant sanctuary. There's the Khao Sok National Park and the Khao Luang National Park. You can go across towards Samui and you've got the Ang Thong National Park for snorkeling. Uh, and there's also a lovely sort of little market in Kanong, which again is, is, is very, very authentic that the hotel will take people to. Um, great with Elephant Hills. Obviously you get the free transfer across from Elephant Hills to Arvo. And the rates start from an amazing 75 pound net per room per night. And on top of that, you've got a stay six, pay five, and you've also got various sort of transfers and pink dolphin tours that are also included in the rates and an early bird. So it's a great little property for island hopping, you know, seeing different parts of Thailand, etc.
Um, finally, I'm going to move on to the Nihan Phuket. As you can see, it's got an amazing view over the beach and it is one of the best beaches in Thailand. It's situated right down on the south coast of the island and it takes about an hour, an hour and a quarter from the airport to get there. Very iconic property. It was formerly known as the Phuket Yacht Club. Uh, had lots of famous visitors that went there um, in its heyday. And then they had a massive refurbishment in 2016 and they reopened as the Nihon Phuket. And it is the only leading hotels of the world member on Phuket. So um, these are the leading mountain view rooms. You've got a beautiful view of the jungle, but I would definitely say to upgrade uh, to the next category up, which is barely anything extra. And this is a deluxe ocean view room. As you can see, you've got a balcony with, um, with some beautiful views outside. There you've got um, some um, canopy um, day beds. Again, large balconies with a beautiful view. You can have a cluster of four grand ocean view rooms, which will be the family wing. So that's great for multi-generational um, holidays and they can arrange shared private family dinners, et cetera. And then we have some suites with some enhanced facilities like butler service, uh, Lalik, um, a bathroom amenities, you cut a bathrobe, et cetera. So these are the ocean view suites. Again, you've got a huge balcony, you've even got room for golf, and then the Royal Ocean Suites with the butler service. Um, and they have got on the balcony, you can see on the right there on the day beds, they've got their very famous um, press to order champagne button. You press that and then five minutes later, the butler will be at the door with your champagne. Um, they also have a very, very strong food and beverage reputation. Um, four restaurants. Um, first one is Cosmo Restaurant for Thai Mediterranean cuisine. They also do all day breakfast right the way through till 10 p.m. Uh, they, they do a lot of their uh, food in house, such as charcuterie, cheeses, yogurts, pastries, etc. Um, they also have the um, Hansha Sushi and Sashimi Japanese bar. And very famous on the island is Rock Salt Restaurant for the sort of Mediterranean, Thai, fish, etc. They have James Sacklin, who's famous American wine critique. He comes every year and does their wine menu. And Salim Khoury from the Savoy London was the head barman. And uh, he was the one that curated their cocktails. So as you can see, you've got an amazing um, view um, of the swimming pool over the bay. And you've got the usual facilities, gym, spa, etc. Lots of activities as well also for children. So uh, rates um, start for £250 for the Mountain View, £370 for the uh, suites. Uh, they have an all year round 30% off EBO and then you've also got some room upgrades as well and some honeymoon extras. So uh, uh, that's me done. So obviously I'm happy to answer any questions. Super, thank you very much, Sue. So yes, if you have any questions, um, please pop them in the Q&A and we will cover these just at the very end. Sue, I forgot to remind you when you came on, at the end, once, once we've had all the presentations and done the questions, you need to ask a question to all of the agents that you've covered during your webinar. So have a think now while- Thank you, we'll do. It's indeed is yeah. taking us to Bali. So thank you, Sue. Yeah. And I'm now gonna hand over to Cindy, who's gonna take us to Bali. Cindy, um, I've muted you, so you will need to unmute. Um, and over to you. Okay, thank you. Please allow me to share the video first. Keep going on.
Okay. And I think the uh, video already told a lot and please allow me to share a little bit uh, of the details of our resort. Okay, so here we are. Okay. Um, so for the this is our uh, lobby area. So our resort are based in uh, built uh, upon the like Amarta Water Palace. So it's a uh, sorry. We lost okay. your, your, your moment there. So, okay. Can you hear me now? Oh, good now. Yeah. It, you went on to mute for some reason. Okay. Uh, so the we are built upon a story of Amarta Water Palace. So there is a summer palace during the king and the royal family during Majapahit era. Majapahit is like a long, long time ago in a um, kingdom in Indonesia. So it's a mixture between Javanese and also Balinese. As you can see, the beautiful uh, lobby with uh, overlooking the sunset as well. So uh, for the location, we are located in the area, the southwest of Bali uh, is in this uh, area of Bali. So we are having, we have uh, direct access to the beach area, which is uh, the famous Dreamland Beach. So we are on the beach area of Uluwatu. For the villas, so we are uh, offering 123 villas, all villas and all with private pool. So we have one bedroom villas, two bedrooms, and also four bedroom villas that we call as a Royal Water Palace. Um, so for the one bedroom villas, we have uh, five different category, but all of the one bedroom villa have the same size and also the same layout. So the size boosts and up to 210 square meters. So we do have a garden villa uh, and we do have the uh, twin bed. So it's, uh, we have a limited uh, quantity of this, uh, this type of villa and also this is the bathroom area. We have premier garden villa with really uh, private, uh, the private pool is overlooking the ruins of Majapahit. And then we have sunset villa, ocean view villa, and we are, uh, the next door is a golf course. It's a new Kuta golf. It's, it's a 18 holes golf course. And also we have a panoramic ocean villa, which is have an uninterrupted ocean view. And for the dining, we have uh, two restaurants and one lounge. All uh, of our dining is uh, having this sunset, very beautiful sunset uh, panoramic. And also we have uh, one uh, restaurant, Segaran Dining Terrace is our, our own all day dining restaurants. Is for breakfast, lunch, and dinner that serve uh, Asian cuisines. And for Akasa restaurant, our specialty restaurant, uh, it's a semi-fine dining which serve a, a grilled flam stick with also a Asian twist. And also we do have a Maja sunset lunch, lunch where the guests can have like afternoon tea or evening cocktail by the pool area. So this is uh, the Segaran restaurant. And also this is a Maja Lounge. And also for the wellness, we have the uh, award-winning Thali Spa. So all Jumeirah in the world have the same brand as uh, Thali Spa. So here in uh, the Thali Spa in Jumeirah, Bali, the concept we took is uh, to reconnect guests' inner well-being. So we are personalized the guest uh, treatment and oil that we use based on the guest date of birth and we will calculate their chakra. So really personalized and also we do have a traditional Turkish hammam 
because uh, we might say that uh, currently we are uh, the only one in Bali that have a really proper place uh, for Turkish hammam. And we do have a very uh, fully equipped, uh, equipped fitness center. And also, even though all of our villa have the private pool, we also have three infinity pools. And we do have a kids club all as well. Okay, so we are uh, just opened last year, so on April uh, 2022, and we just celebrate our uh, birthday two months ago. That's all from my side. Super, thank you. Cindy, you was getting a lot of love hearts with that video and that music was just so zen and relaxing. It was just wow. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I think everybody loved that. It just looks like a magical, a magical place. So it's it, yeah, brilliant. It is. Thank you. Super. Cindy. Okay, we've got a couple of questions that have come up. Um, so Wanda has asked, do any of the hotels that you offer, Sue and, and Cindy, do you have day rates available? For day rates, for currently, yeah. uh, unfortunately, no. Not for you. And Sue, yeah. do and you I don't you? think so either. Not that I'm aware I of. I yeah. don't think it's a done thing, is it? In, no. In Thailand, no. Or the Far East. Yeah. No. Sue, what is the best airline to use um, for the service to Thailand? Um, you, in terms of sort of getting there, can you go via Dubai with Emirates? Yeah, yeah, uh, you can go with Emirates. Uh, I mean, Emirates are good actually because they fly straight into Phuket as well. So okay. you, you know, you can avoid connecting via Bangkok. Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously Thai Airways um, and then Bangkok Airways you know, onto Samui. Um, are they from, they're both from London? Yeah, both, yeah. Um, Emirates obviously go from Birmingham and Manchester as well. And then yep. you've got Eva Air, um, and there's another one as well, which is on the top of my head, which I can't remember. I um, think Eva Air is Heathrow, isn't it? So you can yeah, there, you can and there's another the airline. Eva Air is Heathrow. I'm just trying to think of the other airline that goes in as well. But yeah, there's a good choice of airlines that fly into Thailand. But Emirates is a good one because it gets you into um, into um, Samui. Brilliant. And Christy, you was asking about the um, to go from New York. I'm sure that Emirates fly from um, New York straight to Dubai and then Dubai yeah, onward. They so will do, definitely. Yeah. Super. Thank you. Um, Sue and Marcindy, um, do you have um, accessible properties? So if people have got um, a wheelchair or walking difficulties, um, are any of the, are, is there any of them that you would say yes or no to? I, so I would first. say that the, the Nihon, because it's built into the cliff, is is not probably, well, I mean, it depends. No, I would say it's not really wheelchair friendly. Yeah. Um, I've got details, though, on Arva and Sala. So if you can get the email address, I can certainly send some details on, um, I, I asked them a while ago about accessibility. Yeah. Um, so if you can get an email address for me, I'll, um, I'll send some details. Super, no problem. Yeah. And Cindy? And uh, we do have some of the last that is uh, nearby the lobby area that is accessible uh, using the wheelchair. But some of uh, villas down there that they have to use the, uh, the golf cart or the buggy to go to the restaurants. Okay, super. And can you, can you guarantee um, one of the handicapped rooms if you've got somebody with walking difficulties? Yes, yes. Okay, super. Thank you very much. Um, any of the hotels suitable for solo occupancy? Um, so do you have single rooms or offers any time of year where there's less of a supplement to pay? Cindy? Um, sorry. Yeah, um. yeah we do. Uh, so uh, for the single occupancy also, we can uh, arrange that. So uh, there's no additional charge and also uh, that we can do. Super, thank you. And mm -hmm. Sue? Yeah, I, I don't, I mean, I would say all the rates are so reasonable, you know, that they would be good for a single person anyway. Um, I don't, we don't have single rates for the Salas or the Nihon as far as I'm aware. Okay, super, yeah. thank you. Um, 
Susan's asked, do, do any of the resorts in Thailand, so this is for you, Sue, offer floral arrangements in the pool? I think this is what we see many times on Instagram and uh, YouTube. Yeah, uh, Sala definitely do because I've I've seen them do it. Um, yeah. I know I know Sala Piquet do because um, the GM there was at the hotel in Vietnam that we used to deal with, and they used to do them all the time. Uh, he's talking about floating breakfast and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure the Salas do. Um, I would imagine the Nihon probably do as well. I'm not sure about Arthur, but I could definitely check that for you. Okay, super. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Pam, you've asked a question, but I'm not sure who it's for because it says your property is your property near the scuba resort of Villa Candy Matari. So I don't know if anybody is familiar with this area, but Pam, if you can just let us know who, who your question is for. Um, Sutra has asked, um, do any of the resorts offer the Euroveric spa treatments? So Cindy, I think you yours may. Uh, sorry, can you please? Yeah, the Euro Euro Euroveric spa treatment. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, uh, for the Euroveric uh, spa treatment, I think I have to check it again. <laughs> but okay. we do have have a lot of uh, spa treatment uh, available at the uh, spa Tali Spa. Okay, super. Yeah, Sue, I, I would. Familiar? Yeah, I would need to check the spa menus as well. But again, if you've got an email address for whoever's asking, then I can certainly check. Brilliant, no problem. Mm -hmm. um, is there a minimum number of nights that you need to stay in the hotel? So like a minimum of three nights on the contracts or can people go for a night here, a night there? At Jumeirah Bali, you can uh, stay uh, with, without minimum night of stay. So you can stay one night or two nights. Brilliant, thank you. Yeah, we're, we're the same except for over Christmas and the new year. There's quite often a minimum for, for yeah. new year. Yeah, yeah, which is normally normal yeah. anyway. That's good. Yeah. Um, Pam's asked, are there golf courses near any of the Thailand properties? Yeah, there's definitely golf courses near Sala, Samui, Chong Mo. Yeah, definitely on Samui and also on um, Sala Phuket as one not too far away. Arva, I don't think so. Uh, I guess the Nihon as well. I'm not quite sure how far away it is from the golf course, but there's definitely golf courses on Phuket. Yeah, there's a good one, a blue, blue something or other. But yeah. Super, thank you. Yeah. Um, do you offer airport transfers by any chance, Cindy? Yes, we do offer. Yeah, super. And you just so speak to me do, Actually, actually uh, yes, actually we have um, also one bedroom and two bedroom villa. The two bedroom villa inclusion is a... Uh, uh, pick up and return transfer to airport uh, ah, complimentary okay. yes super thank you and sue um i presume that you your concierge will be able to arrange these um do you know for sure yeah they all have transfers yeah they can all arrange transfers super mm -hmm. let's have a look um susan's asked as well uh cindy the floral features in the in the in the swimming pools do you arrange that also yeah where you do the floating yeah it's amazing it's an amazing experience mm -hmm. especially for somebody that's on a honeymoon or a special occasion or they're yes. wanting to impress their other half it's it's beautiful so yeah we can uh we arrange uh like flower bath for the honeymooners oh super um can anybody accommodate family of six um, sure. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm just thinking, Arva, yes, no problem. You've got those interconnecting rooms on the ground floor. Um, Salas have all got two um, two bedroomed um, villas and also the, uh, uh, what were they called? The uh, du -du -du duplex ones as well, where they had a, a master bedroom on the top floor. Actually, they probably wouldn't. That would only feature four. But yes, yeah. But all of the salas have got two bedroom villas, so they would definitely be able to accommodate six. And Super. Arthur with the connecting rooms. Brilliant. And Cindy? Yeah. For a family of six, we got uh, actually a connecting villa. So one bedroom connecting villas that are yep. um, connecting through the pantry area and the pool area or uh in the two bedroom and maybe plus additional one bedroom super thank you sue are there any bars and restaurants within walking distance of sala samui 
Uh, yes, both of them. I don't know whether which one you're talking about, but presumably Silas and Umi Chongmon. So um, there is Chongmon Village, which is a short walk away. There's also a few little bars and restaurants along the beach. Um, and then um, we would definitely recommend, uh, recommend taking a taxi, which is about 10 minutes to Beauport Fisherman's Village, where there's some, it's really sort of trendy ocean side with lots of bars and restaurants and um, uh, souvenir shops. And then if they want a bit more nightlife, then again, it's about 10 minutes taxi to um, Chao Wang. But you can walk out of the hotel and go to some local bars and restaurants. Yes, if that's what they're asking about, Chong Mom. Yep. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, at all of the hotels, I'm presuming that this is a yes, but let, let me just ask you, um, if clients want to arrange day trips in advance, could the concierge or somebody in the hotel arrange these for them? Because I know uh, what's happening at the moment is a lot of people are wanting to pre-plan and pre-book um, and it's becoming it's, it's becoming completely different to how it used to be where people would just turn up in resort. Um, so if if the clients are booked into your hotels, can somebody, the concierge, or somebody arrange some excursions or things for them? Cindy, I'll ask you first. Yes. Uh, so if for the day trip, unfortunately, we cannot, uh, we don't do uh, day trips. Uh, for uh, if they are going to have like uh, going to the other uh, area in Bali or they are having a tour, then our concierge are available to uh, assist them. Uh, and also for the guests who are staying in our one bedroom, are uh, we also arrange a dedicated uh, sorry e butler. Uh, we provide the e butler service for all the guests uh, who stay in one bedroom. But for the guests who stay in two bedroom, we also have a dedicated butler. They are available twenty four hours. Super, thank you very much. Um, and Sue, you, same same for you. I presume that somebody would be able to put them in contact with a taxi driver or something. Oh well, yeah, they they they'd be able to arrange them. And, and as I said in the presentation, Arva have their own in-house um, tour company. So we've got some examples of the day trips they can do, and they can definitely all be booked in advance. And yeah, the Salas and the uh, um, they'll also have a concierge that will be able to book in advance, and then I hunt too. Super, thank you very much. I think um, I've just got a question. What well, I'm going to wonder, I'm going to give you the contact details of both both of the of the people because she's got a group coming and she wants to sort of have a look. Um, and it's both in um, it's Bali and Phuket, so mm -hmm. I'll put her in contact with both of you, and then okay. you, you can help her with that. Um, that's the end of the questions. We've got another, the last question that we had was, will we receive contact information? Yes, of course. I'll send that out with a copy of the recording tomorrow. So you've got Sue and Cindy's email address. So any further questions, you've got any help, you need to um, confirm bookings, you let them know and uh, they, they will help you. Um, so I hope I've not missed anything in chat, but if everybody at the moment can now go to chat, um, Sue and Cindy are going to ask you a question. So just as a reminder, every single person on this webinar today gets a one prize draw entry. If you get this answer correct, you get 10 entries. Tomorrow, I put everybody into spin to win and I announce the winner <laughs> when I send the mailing out. So I'm going to ask Sue, first of all, to fire away with her question. And let's see who the uh, correct answer is. OK, my question is... Which is the only hotel in Phuket who is a member of leading hotels of the world? Okay, do you have to spell it correctly, Sue? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got Nai Han as the first, quite, first answer. Is that correct? It is. Brilliant. Ushma? You're the one for that one. Um, so thank you for that. So le leading hotels of the world. Yes. Super amazing. And Cindy. Yes. <laughs> what's your question, please? Um, I think have not prepared it yet. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe I um, want to ask you the what is the name of the, the empire that we are really uh, uh, the concept of our uh, resort? Here we go. Do they have to Here spell it? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. The, I think All the right. first one already uh, answered the, uh, the correct with the correct spelling as well. 
Okay, was that so? That was Marja Pahit. Yes. Perfect. So that was Joe. Super. So Joe and Ushma, you both got your ten entries. So I will let you all know tomorrow who the winners are. Um, Cindy, a massive thank you for um My coming up to relate. Um, the presentation was super. Thank you very much, Sue, as well. Um, your presentations were great. Great hotels. If thank you me. have any further questions, um, just reach out to them and ask them. And thank you very much to everybody that attended. And we will see you all next week have a great weekend everybody and thank you lovely thank, thank you sarah, sarah. Yeah. no problem Take care. Bye. You. Bye. Bye. bye 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 bye